Libra, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do your reading for the week of January 15th through the 21st. We're going to take a look at your overall general energy, what you may not see coming, and get some important advice from Spirit. Thank you for tuning in and sharing this space with me today. It is a pleasure to be with you here. I've been loving my Libras lately. All the gorgeous messages that you've been sending my way. I appreciate you all so much. I'm going to thank Spirit for presiding over this reading for the Libra Collective. Thank you, Spirit, as always, for your divine assistance. All right, we're going to jump into the tarot messages. I'm sorry if my voice is deeper. I'm doing this very early this morning. We woke up to a lot of rain and some damage to um, some of the ceiling. So it's been a little crazy. Um, ah, Mother Nature, it's been a very wet season here. All right, what's happening for you? I pulled some beautiful pre-shuffled oracle messages. Um, I can't wait to share those with you as always. I like to sit with the energies with the oracle a lot of times. But as you know, you've watched me switch it up. I do it on screen, I do it off screen. It's just whatever whatever the energies pull me toward that week. All right, what's happening for y'all? Third week of January. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placements. Please only take what resonates, okay? As this is a general message. Yeah. Okay. Recent past. Six of Cups. Judgment. Ooh. Ace of Cups. Wow. So a lot of you decided, mm, I'm going to give love to this bond. A very important bond to you. Someone you could have known since childhood. Could be a family member. Could be um, a lover. Somebody that you just decided, you know what? We have a lot of memories. I'm going to hold on to this. I think I'm going to clarify that judgment card, though, in the past, but you did make um, a major decision to give love. You opened up to a new soul contract or, an ex or, or decided to renew a contract that was existing, right? You may have had that on the line. I think that was the last reading where it was kind of touch and go in a connection. Near future, Knight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and strength. Wow. Moving forward. Really working on your abundance and your prosperity. Whatever you're doing out in the world, it's making you feel a lot stronger in your sense of self, in your own empowerment, moving fast forward. I think you might even be creating a lot more abundance um, more rapidly than you anticipated or the opportunities are there. We're going to clarify these in a moment, but I love what I see. Justice. There you are, Libra. Mm-hmm. Yep. Something's coming back into balance. Something's coming really back into balance in your life. We're going we're gonna to clarify these in a moment. Ooh, opportunity. You might have stepped up in your own emotional maturity and surprised yourself recently on how you handled a situation. You could have been in an environment where there was a lot of going on around you emotionally, but you stayed anchored. You stayed centered. Maybe you're practicing how to be more self-aware. That's what I'm getting the vibe off. Wow. Queen of Cups. All right. Oh. So you, I'm seeing a match here, king and queen. So the challenge is the relationship itself or something about, we're going to clarify these because I can't really guess what's going on until I clarify, but definitely some sort of relationship is um, on the mind this week. Queen of Pentacles and stabilizing it, okay? Putting energy towards stabilizing it. All right, this is looking good. Looking good, Libra. All right. So I decided this week that I was going to take um, Anna Stark. She's wonderful. I think she's Australian, but she created two beautiful, spiritually minded decks. I decided, you know, what? it'd be fun to use, you know, the same person, <clears throat> two different decks. This comes by way of the sacred uh, power reading cards and the other one's sacred spirit reading cards. I love this. I, I, I think a lot of Libras identify with Isis. A lot of you have her as a spirit guide. She is a powerful priestess. Many of us, I know a lot of you are like, uh-huh, yes, mm-hmm. Isis is, is my jam. She's my woman. She's my choo. You know what I mean? Like, we're fierce. Some of you maybe even have Isis tattoos. That's how deep your connection goes with, um, with this beautiful, beautiful, benevolent mm, Egyptian goddess. Here we have lightning. Look at her. Wings spread out. Look at that. Isis is here to open your heart to receive true love and healing through empowerment and movement, okay? She is saying push forward with passion, okay? Open up your arms to the world and, and, and 
find your path, this Knight of Wands. It's like you're finding new levels of passion in your life. You're being ignited this week. And also this card indicates that true long-lasting soul growth, right, is, is at hand here because it creates this universal expansion. So, and I do believe that's what's happening. You're, you're universally expanding beyond the earthly limits, maybe even beyond, especially with this heart space, right? This could also be you with the king and queen coming into balance within your heart space where you can go deep in your emotional body, but you also remain balanced, okay? I mean, there is the six of cups, the ace of cups, the king of cups, and the queen of cups on the table here. Need I say no more? I mean, love overfloweth, okay? And the beautiful aspect of these two combined, you have the other card, which is the birth of creation, potential growth, okay? That's the cosmic egg, the universal creation life itself. The egg is a symbol of that. So you could be trying new routines. You're really, your focal point should be this week on growing and evolving, right? And I think that you're doing it at a rate that's invisible to the outside world. One biggest message I got from these two cards is that you're calling in a new soul contract. I do believe for a lot of you, you have a new soul coming forward that is a part of your journey, okay? I'm just getting that. And it could be any, it doesn't mean it's a lover. It just, also you're being called to spend more time with people that ignite your fire, right? In your soul. You know, you want people in your corner that support your success, Libra. And I think that you've been, sifting and sorting through these contracts, right? And you and you might have created some space in your life recently where you're like, you know, I'm ready to meet new people. I'm ready to meet people who are aligned with the vision of me moving forward into my future, who are going to raise me higher, right? Not bring me down lower. I just, I love the messages that I got from this. I mean, a lot of you too are pregnant or want to get pregnant this year. We talked about that in your annual. And this is that, that womb, right? Focusing on the family matters, right? Fertility, all of those beautiful things and being assisted by the, the I mean, this, this could very well be like the, the creation of a baby, right? The lightning and the birth of creation. So I'm seeing good things, good things. All right. Or a lot of you already have family and that's just a big part of your focal point throughout the week is nurturing your children, nurturing your family. All right. What's this justice? Eight of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Yeah, a lot of you putting a lot of hard work, moving past maybe an emotional situation in uh, recent weeks. Six of Cups. Some of you are, are opening up. You might have left some childhood bonds. Like I said, there's some opening up here. So you can allow new bonds to come in. Ooh, I just saw a card in here from a different reading. I apologize. Sometimes they, they fly in. And sometimes they're pertinent to the message and then they get lost. I apologize. Well, that one wants to stay in the deck for now. It'll come out when it wants to. Okay. Let's clarify the justice. So oh, I don't know if I cleared the deck. Justice. Why, why is justice here? This is you stepping into your power. So let's clarify. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Wow, Page of Swords, Nine of Wands. Yeah, you know, you may have had, and this, this has to do with a soul bond. It could be anybody in your life, but someone that is very important to you in your growth, someone that is a, a predestined contract. And whoever you're thinking of, that's the person that, that we're talking about. The Ace of Wands, this is, you know what, I I'm I'm still want to give a lot of my energy to this, okay? Despite there being, I'm a little bit weary, right? I'm a little tired, but I'm, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to, the, the Page of Swords, they're learning, right? This is an apprentice. So you could be learning that, you know, in order for you to have the passion that you want to move forward in a connection or in your life in general, you, you, you're reserving your energy. And it's almost like, it really is. It's like, I was a big fan of Bikram and I still do it from time to time, not as devoted as I once was, but he calls it, you know, yoga as filling up your gas, going to the gas station and filling up, right, the energy. So Spirit is saying this is about in order to come back into balance, you know, and feel like a Libra, you need to periodically, right, fill up your tank. 
And that comes down to taking care of your body. Libras have a very sensitive ecosystem. I haven't met a Libra who doesn't have a sensitive body. Um, when it comes to when it's out of whack, you just feel out of whack emotionally. So I don't know why I'm getting this, but I'm getting like this really ground in the practices that increase your vitality, that increase your energy, okay? Because you've, you've been in a battle of some sort and you're still learning how to practice your self-care while you're going through this. Some of you are going through a literal legal battle. Others of you are just trying to come back into balance with self because the emotions have been a little bit, ooh, you are fired up though. It's like, I, I still have enough energy, Jenna. You know, I have plenty of energy. I'm still learning what I need to do in order to maintain the, the passion, right? This, igni this ignition that is, that is happening this week. It's like, you're going to take that. It's, it's, I feel this whole, like, something's going to happen where you just feel like, wow, I don't know where that energy came from. But it feels good because I've been tired. I've been drained lately. All right. Why is the King of Cups here in your opportunity? These two want to come out. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this is the energy of I'm still willing to learn about what I need to do to bring as much love into my life that, that creates stability. I mean, your opportunity this week is to focus on your own stability, focus on what you can control, right? And that is really being guided by your heart space forward and whatever you're investing in. If you're, if you're giving your energy to a friend, to your work, wherever you're giving your energy, this is about bringing your heart fully in it. And if it, you don't, it almost is like, mm, if my heart's not in it, it just doesn't feel the same. And I do believe you're deepening. A lot of you are, are having such a huge blast of like heart awakening. It's it's like an ongoing energy through the month throughout the month of January. And I'm not sure why in particular this month is the month for that, but something is breaking your heart open. And it's like the more you give love to other people, the more you're receiving it back. It's it's a beautiful energy. It's it's actually it blows me away how how unconditionally love-driven and emotionally mature the Libra Collective has become and on their journey. Why is the challenge the Queen of Cups? The King of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Hermit. Wow. There's a lot of passion here in this connection. Wow. The challenge is, it's, <laughs> wow. I don't, that's not a bad challenge. I'm sitting here like, what's wrong with this one? Maybe things get a little bit bubble, bubble over, right? The King of Wands, it's like trying to ground somebody who's very intense. You've got somebody who's very intense in your life that you, you deeply, deeply desire, love, um, there's some, and also I'm getting this whole vibe is within you. This challenge could very well be more about you and self. Like if you're very passionate, right, about certain things, it's like grounding them in the here and now and making sure that there's a balance between how much you're giving to yourself and how much you're giving outwardly. So this, this, you have so many passions in your life. It's like the Queen of Cups is an anchoring, nurturing, motherly energy in this deck. She's very beautiful. Look at her. She's almost scrying and looking into this bowl, right, beside the sea. And she's calm, right? She's finding her stillness and her calmness. The King of Wands, he's like large and in charge, right? I'm going forward. I'm passionate. They're like opposite energies. And then you have the Four of Wands grounding, right? And let's go internal. Like in order to create whatever stability you're working on creating within yourself, it's a delicate balance, right? Spirit is saying, don't overgive, right? To the point where you are so drained that you don't even have enough energy for you, okay? A lot of Libras do that. They, they, they get their heart spaces get drained by, by the amount of energy, even just as empaths, like picking it up around, the, around your day to day, you know? We all, there's a sensitivity of your heart space 
there's a sensitivity and it's gorgeous. But Spirit is saying, make sure if you really want to stabilize, right? There is a certain level of depth you need to go within. So this week, I think it's important to, to do all of those practices that ground you meditation because if you are working on getting pregnant the more the more emotionally grounded or if you are birthing something new or working on a new project a new work endeavor or starting a new exercise regimen anything that is helping you right to ground and anything the new in your creation because we are creating right a lot of libras are working on creating this is the birth of that so in order to do that you really want it to be grounded right in an anchoring energy where you can ground your passions through through the solitude. So as much as you need to go out in the world and go at it, right, and grind away at what you do to create what you create, you got to make sure you spend time in your own solitary energy because that's how you fill up your gas tank, right? All right, let's get into whoop, the Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Ooh, yeah, let's talk about your heart space in the near future. We've been cleaning this up. I think there's a lot of confusion about, well, I, I've got some pain, Jenna. And I and I, a lot of you watching this may find yourself single. Or at least you're in a connection where the focal point isn't that this week. It's on you. I think that you, you we've talked about this in the past where you've had some recent hurts. A lot of you um, did end a relationship or you reached the end of, of some sort of journey with a, with a soul connection right? This recent past could have very well to do with the Six of Cups, Ace of Cups judgment around your own, you know, they said, let's clarify. So I'm not guessing here. Let's clarify. What is this judgment? Two of Cups, Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That is the whole proverbial whew. am I going to continue to give love to this long-term commitment? It's hard. It's hard. It got very hard for you to stay in a long-term commitment. But a lot of you, it went there, you know, this is when we branch off here in the tarot. Some people ended a relationship. Some people didn't. Okay. For those that you did end a relationship, you were really regaining your footing on your own and really enjoying, I think, the fact that you have created your own stability for however long you've been on that. I don't know how recent this was, but You've gained a lot of strength by moving forward on your own and your own emotional independence. Whether you stayed with someone or not, this is about your own emotional independence, moving forward and accessing that part of you that's strong, okay? Not strong because you're faking it, strong because you, you're resilient, okay? You did reach the end of a painful situation and it left you feeling very confused on how to heal from it, how to move past it. A lot of you were really trying to work on moving past an ending. And for others of you, you're trying to work on moving past an ending and you're still hanging on to the relationship, trying to do the necessary repairs to stabilize it, okay? So in either instance, this is about recognizing what you need to release, all right? And this is about removing the pain, right, that has hit your heart space. And a little confusion and a little bit, mm, I'm not sure with the Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups energy, Hmm, I'm not quite sure. Maybe you were under an illusion with someone, you know, where there was more codependency. Maybe now you're trying to figure out, okay, how do I entangle from this enmeshment that I had with this? My life was wrapped up in this person, okay? This is about emancipating yourself from a connection that ran its course. Others of you, you are sticking by this connection and you're working through as confusing as that situation was that led to a breakdown and a potential ending, you're still working through that. But out of it, you're still, you're still, your guidance is stay emotionally independent no matter what, okay? Because once you go down that codependency road, it gets dicey, it gets dicey. What's the queen of pentacles here? The hangman, the five of wands, the four of pentacles. Yeah, what you don't see coming is that you're in a bit of a power struggle with someone and at times, you really have to pause and emotionally withdraw to learn from it, right? This is, you know, it's like you're trying to stabilize every time you have a power struggle. There is some sort of tug of war going on with someone in your life. and But it's teaching you so much. It's like whenever this pops up, you're learning how to navigate it with that, that trigger, right? And mirroring back and actually learning that whenever there's conflict in your life, 
If you pause, right, and you don't let your emotions go crazy and you stabilize within yourself and you mirror back and you actually show empathy, right, and you validate, there's something beautiful going on in the way you, you are communicating with people in general. And it's like you, you've been in this incubation of healing your heart space and now you've gone through this, like you've graduated to a higher octave of lesson learning where you're responding to people differently than you did in the past. Not as much from a wounded place because in the past you carried a, a, a feeling of abandonment, abandonment of self. I do believe the Libra Collective is really being responsible for the, the unconditional love in the world and doing the work and leading the way at the leading edge, right, of what it's like to live from an emotionally emancipated place where you can still hold space and validate other people without getting triggered. I don't know if that resonates. Let's get some advice from Spirit. But you're learning from this tug of war. You could still be communicating with those of you who ended a relationship. You still could be communicating and learning from what happened, but you are um, being guided to make sure you you don't get too heavily involved with someone else's cleanup, right? All right. What is the advice from spirit? Yeah. Five of wands, the devil. Wow. A lot of you, a lot of you, wow, I'm surprised to see the devil. I wasn't expecting that. It's like there's this, like I said, you are, <laughs> you can respond two ways when it comes to conflict, Libra. And I think you're learning this about yourself. Wow, I can respond from a triggered place and I could make it worse, right? And I can just, rah, right, give them my fury because Libra's got it. I mean, Libra, <laughs> never fight with a Libra because they make the toughest litigators in the world. You can argue your case from every freaking angle. There's so much going on up here in Libras. I mean... I pity the fool, <laughs> Mr. T. I pity the fool who wants to fight with a Libra because we, man, we're tenacious, tenacious. So be careful uh, with wanting to be right when you have conflict, all right? I think you're still trying to learn about yourself and how to respond to other people when they are pushing your buttons to actually pause, right? Withdraw your energy. Don't get riled up, right? And, and when you and mirror back to them and validate to them what they are trying to say, the minute you do that, the energy shifts, right? They're like, oh my God, Libra's actually hearing me. They're not fighting me, right? They're hearing me. They're validating how I feel. And this is the biggest thing. And I've been learning this too, y'all. It is so hard because validation doesn't mean you agree. Libra's, what, that we get that confused. It's like, well... Well, they're just, you know, I don't appreciate this point of view because it's wrong, right? That's not the truth. And that's the thing because we are such a stickler when it comes to the truth. Here's the thing. It's true for them. It may not be true for you. And if you start fighting somebody, it's hard because all you need to do is just say, wow, I, I, I imagine that's, you know, how you feel, right? If you validate somebody, whether it doesn't matter if you agree or not, that's the thing. That's where we get stuck. That's the devil energy. You're like, but it's not <laughs> true. <laughs> and then you're like, am I going to respond by fighting them for the truth? Or am I going to respond by just validating that this is their experience, even though I disagree with it? So I hope that helps you.